Aren't you supposed to be non-violent now? I'm having a real big problem with that right now. Lucas, Lex, great to see you both. How you doing today? Wonderful. Good day. uh, I'll, I, you know, actually, Lex, we met uh, at Superfly. I interviewed you for Superfly. So good to awesome. see you again. Good to see you too. We survived the pandemic. Hallelujah. Well, <laughs> we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing great. And Lucas, uh, if I'm not mistaken, aren't, aren't you from Texas? Weren't you born in Texas? You know, I love the, the trepidation there because most people just assume I'm from Texas and then they, they make all these cultural uh, assumptions. <laughs> and then, uh, no, I was born there. You're correct in that. And then we moved away like three months after that to South Florida. I mean, to Central Florida. And then I spent the rest of my life in Georgia. Well, as a native Texan myself, once a Texan, always a Texan. And that's why we do that. Come on, Lucas. Love you that. should know that. I do, well, I do now. <laughs> Certainly do now. Um, I had never heard of uh, uh, Bob Zellner's story, and that's why I'm grateful right. for this for this film. So, uh, Lex, I'm going to start with you on this question. You know, yeah. what, what makes this story special to you? The opportunity to be able to portray um, the essence of so many beautiful, outstanding Black women of that time um, and to bring a sense of unity to um, the unfortunate truth that everyone is facing. Um, unity by accepting someone like Bob Zellner in so easily um, and being a guiding hand for him throughout this process of um, educating him on exactly what people of color were facing during that time. Lucas, did you get a chance to spend any time with Bob Zellner? I did, and a little bit beforehand, and I, I didn't know what to say. Uh, I mean, obviously, the, the normal um, things that you say to people when you first meet them and hang out, but I was just so, I, I was like, oh, man, I, he's going to hate me. I'm going to screw this up. So it wasn't, I've talked to him a lot more since the, since we finished the movie um, than I did when we were doing it. But yeah, yeah, he was there a couple times while we were shooting. Tell me about the responsibility, Lucas, of playing somebody you know, uh, again, I really, and now I'm going down the rabbit hole, finding out more about this wonderful, outstanding person that we really need to know about. And again, I'm grateful for this movie, but the responsibility for you to portray him, how heavy did that lay on you? Luckily, the most of the import was realized after the fact, because I, I've said this a couple of times, but I, I read his book after I did the movie, because basically I was done with uh, my show that I work on and we were supposed to shoot out the weekend after we were supposed to our first day was supposed to be a weekend after i got done which is a lot of work over there and then we got we got pushed for so for two weeks or 10 days that i had all i did was read that script backwards and forwards and and watch old videos of bob um but yeah yeah i mean yeah it was it was a lot to take on i was very nervous but then we ended up um uh, i realized uh, reading his i recommend everyone reading his book especially after watching the movie it's incredible it's incredible I am definitely going to do that. And you can say MacGyver, even though I'm on a different network, it's okay. Lex, uh, you, you all you all filmed in Alabama and that, yes. had, to, that, that had to be special in, in regards to the fact that, you know, that all occurred there where, near where you all were filming. So Lex, what, what did that feel like to you? Well, we were on the actual grounds of where most of these things took place. Um, yeah the riot scene in our film was literally on the exact street in front of the exact buildings where these took place. So to be there, to, to feel the energy of the ground, so alive with history, so alive on, with spirits of the people of that time, um, it, it really, you had no choice but to immerse yourself in the truth of the history. Um, very, very chilling to be there and perform there um, and bring these stories back to life. It, it honestly felt like a resurrection of the, the people that we were, that were there before us. 